Good afternoon, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is January 16, 2022. And I want to share with you what I believe was our seven day warning that came on January 10th, leading us to January 17th. On January 7th, this operation took place, and this man received a genetically altered pig heart. First time in history, first time in all of humanity that this has ever happened. Okay, A man received a genetically altered pig heart. Now this operation took place on January 7th, but it was not made known to the world until it was published on January 10th. Okay, so our warning was received on January 10th. This man receiving a genetically altered pig heart. Now, as soon as I saw this uh, article and this story, I immediately uh, correlated this to what Jesus said in Matthew 24:15. when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Jesus told us that the, the abomination of desolation would be the beginning of the great tribulation. And this would be the time to flee, to be ready to flee into the mountains. Now, when you consider the original abomination of desolation that Jesus is referring to, he was referring to the time during the Maccabees when Antiochus Epiphanes the Syrian king came in and sieged Jerusalem and defiled the holy temple of God in Jerusalem by putting an altar of Zeus in the Holy of Holies and sacrificing pigs on the altar. Okay, so now if you consider that we are the temple of God and that the heart of man is the Holy of Holies the place where God's presence dwells within man okay then you have what we saw that took place during the time of the Maccabees was a pig being placed in the temple of God okay well this is exactly what took place this was the first time in history that this uh, has happened so we have an abomination that is taking place that Jesus told us to look for and consider if we understand what the original abomination was we can see the uh, this this terrible moment that has taken place within the history of man man receiving the the heart of a pig okay now the Bible also says in Matthew 24 it says as it was in the days of Noah so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man okay so we see that the 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 races this this intermingling this mixing of beast and and human especially of a pig when you consider the fact that the the original abomination was a pig okay on the altar of God in the in the Holy of Holies okay now you have this mingling that is taking place between beast and human and somehow they think that they're gonna make this work and that they are smarter than God himself to be able to uh, transform uh, hu humanity into some type of a beast okay so this is part of the timing of of Noah as it was in the days of Noah when there was this intermingling between the beasts uh, the, the fallen angels and man the giants and man okay the, the 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 fallen angels that came to intermingle within the race of humanity okay so that is part of it but another part of the days of Noah was that Noah as it is said in Genesis 7:4 for yet seven days I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights every living thing that I have made will I destroy 
from off the face of the ground. Okay, and Noah received a seven day warning. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Noah received a seven day warning. Okay, so we have a seven day warning. Now I shared in my video yesterday signs pointing to January 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. But the information we have, especially about January 17th, is so very powerful. When you consider that on December 4th, 2021, on the day of the total solar eclipse over Antarctica, being midweek Hanukkah, Barack Obama had a statue put up at Legacy Park in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, on, on the side of his statue is are three books. Okay, a call to conscience, a promised land, be coming. Now, there's a connection to January 17th in all three of these. Martin Luther King Day is January 17th, 2022. Michelle Obama's birthday is January 17th, 2022. And Barack Obama in the Strong's Concordance the number of Bama is 1117. We know that January is the true 11th month because December stands for 10. January is 11. And 1117 is also January 17th. Okay. Beyond this, we have a 44 day connection from the statue of Obama being put up in Las Vegas to January 17th Obama being president number 44 okay so what I wanted to share with you is that this man was the sign that Jesus gave to us one of the signs one of the ways that we can see how close we really are when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by by the prophet Daniel a man receiving the heart of a pig. A pig being placed in the temple of God in the Holy of Holies. Okay? As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. We have this intermingling of beast and human. And we also have a seven-day warning to January 17th. Okay? I will leave the link for you of the video I did yesterday giving all of these signs all of this deeper understanding to this time frame really starting tomorrow leading us through January 20th but if tomorrow is the day then you are going to want to understand all of this information and be adequate, ad adequately prepared for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that has given us the signs of the timing of his return and this is what I wanted to share with you I'll leave that link for you in the description box and I will also leave it here for you in a pop-up so you can click on it and go right to the the message that I shared yesterday are you ready to fly have a wonderful day this is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed